Tonight, a Colorado Springs widow is reacting to the news that a funeral home operator accused of illegally selling her husband's body parts has pleaded guilty in federal court. That guilty plea wasn't for body brokering, it's for mail fraud. Y'all, this story done pissed me off. But I'm not surprised. I'm pretty sure things of this nature has been going on for decades upon decades. A Colorado funeral home operator is accused of selling and stealing body parts. She pleaded guilty to mail fraud. Megan Hess, age 45, operated the funeral home in Montrose with her mother. She faces a 20-year prison sentence after the decision in U.S. District Court in Grand Junction, Colorado. So for eight years through 2018, this heifer, Hess, executed a scheme to steal hundreds of bodies and body parts, which she would then sell to other institutions for medical or educational purposes. Are you sure about that? Hess would often transfer the human remains to third parties without familial consent and would ship bodies that belong to people who die from infectious diseases. She ran Sunset Mesa Funeral Foundation, which arranged cremations, burials, and funerals and operated donor service. In some cases, Hess and her mother, Shirley Koch, were accused of giving families the cremated remains of another person, pretending to be returning the relative's ashes. Other families would charge a thousand or more for a cremation that never occurred. Hess is expected to be sentenced in January, and her mother Koch has a change of plea hearing set for today, July 12th, and has pleaded not guilty. <sighs> I'm sorry, producer Sonora Harris, you said she should have been arrested for that 1989 hairstyle? I agree. The crazy thing is today is my son's father's birthday. May he rest in peace. He passed away from cancer. And on his bucket list, he wanted to be cremated. And I'm like, for what? I never trusted this whole cremation process. But some people have no other choice. He had a choice, but this is what he wanted. His mother told me she had a dream that he said he did not want his body separated. Why does she have this dream? I don't know. It makes me wonder. Even before hearing things like this, I'm like, are y'all sure this is the person who passed away up in this urn? Is it a mixture? Is the furnace clean? Is this cement? It makes you wonder. Even when it comes down to people being buried in a casket, people over there blinging their loved ones out, that's what's up. That's what's up. But um, do y'all think that these people don't steal all that ish? I'm just saying. Y'all need to be careful out here because you never know who's dealing with your loved ones. People are crazy. I believe in 2019, the 2014. FBI raided a body donation facility. There was buckets of human remains just chilling. Legs, heads, stuffed in a cooler. Torsos without heads, limbs. And they had the nerve to create a makeshift Frankenstein. Where they use body parts, they would use a male torso, put a female head on it, all types of craziness. This one guy thought that um, his mother was being donated to science, some type of Alzheimer's study. Nope. She was used um, as a military testing. I believe they placed bombs under her. Mm-hmm. If y'all loved one recently passed away, I suggest you stay in that parking lot and you stalk these mofos. If you need to wake up early, if you need to set your timer to the exact time that these people are going to be entering their job, you're going to be an intern that day. Ding dong. Hello. We're here. I'm interning today. Let me see what the F you're doing. Because this is crazy. We live in a sick, sick, twisted, demented world. And, and, and these body parts run for a, a good amount of money. I think a hand is like a $200 for a hand. A leg, right, $400. $600. Y'all, be alert. Be aware. These are some wicked, wicked, strange times. All right. Later.